Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench and we're going to have another quick tutorial this week. I'm pretty busy this week, so this one's going to be a simple one. We're basically going to be making something like this. So let's jump into Illustrator real quick. All right, so all this is is a bunch of lines. I got a little uh, reference layer here. This is kind of like what the shape is going to be of the uh, element that this is going to go behind. And this is a little circle that's uh, kind of the radius that I want to keep these things around. So basically I just kind of made myself a rule that I would just draw pretty much right angles only. So they kind of just go on and go around until they make it to the edge of that circle. And then once I got one complete rotation around, I'd lock it off and start a new layer. And then I would just draw ones on top of it and they'd branch out and do different things. Once you draw a whole bunch of those, you get this. So then I saved that, brought it into After Effects real quick, and then I exploded out all the shapes. Initially, I did it all in one layer and it looked kind of like that, which is kind of cool, but that's not my favorite. I took that shape and broke out every 20 lines so they come in as groups, so you can see them like this. Each one of these, uh, this is from lines from 240 to 257. So those are the very last lines I have. I did trim paths. Uh, if you keep it to one layer, you can just put it all in there once and then just break it apart into separate layers and then just offset them in time. That's the easiest way to do it. And then from there, I duplicated all of those put them in here, give them a bigger stroke. And this one starts to close up as soon as it begins. So that way each one of these has a little end on it. All right, so then you have all these ends there like that. So it's like little fiber optic lines. And what I did was I made the strokes on these white and the ones on these are like 50% gray. Then I rendered it out. So then you can go over, make a new comp, have out the rendered one, go out, this little out point there. And then I can put a little solid under it, go back to where it's doing that. I rendered it out in 4K so I can use it to reveal a whole bunch of different stuff. All right, so then you can select your layer and then put uh, stylized glow on it. And since I made the ends really white and the, uh, the lines themselves are gray, you can actually use that to split where you want this thing to glow. So if I, if I want to bring up the threshold and the intensity on this thing, you can have the whole thing glow, which is kind of nice, or you can bring the threshold up, just have the ends do it. it does that weird shadow thing. You can get rid of that by setting this color to white as well. So now you can see they're all like little glowing lines, like kind of like fiber optic cables. And then the strokes just animate down to zero on the ends of the fiber optic lines. You can use this technique with any kind of strokes to get kind of a, a little thing moving along the line. As long as you don't need it to be a specific shape or anything, you're uh, pretty set. Or you can set the ends of the stroke to be round so you can have little circles at the end of the lines instead. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And make sure you follow us on workbench.tv for more great tutorials. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.